Okay, so OnePlus 9 users, are you guys bored with Oxygen OS 14 builds? If so, then you should try out this first Android 14 custom ROM for OnePlus 9 series, which is based on Android 14 and its paranoid Android. In this video, we'll talk about its features, battery backup, performance, charging time and more. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. And here you can see I have my OnePlus 9, which is running this custom ROM. If you see here, paranoid Android, which is based on Android 14 and it comes with 5th Jan 2024 security patch only one drawback which you guys will see and that's right now it doesn't support OTA update but I'm sure with further updates it will have a OTA update support right now if you want to install you need to manually flash the files either you flash beta 1 or you flash beta 2 it's not required that to install latest build you have to install the initial build you can directly flash the second beta on your oneplus 9 series and guys before moving ahead if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel so Paranoid Android is known for its fluid UI, smooth and seamless interface that makes navigation on OnePlus 9 a breeze. So if you guys in past have installed custom ROMs, then you must be aware that most of the custom ROMs doesn't pass the safety net check and also they don't have the support of Widevine L1. But that's not the case on Paranoid Android. Let me show you that. So here is the app and if you see under the results, it do passes the safety net and also the CTS profile. So you won't have any kind of issues using the payment applications. In my testing, I have used HDFC app along with Google Pay and also the cred application and all these three apps works perfectly fine on this custom room. And talking about the Widevine L1 certification. So here you can see under DRM info, the security level it says L1. So that also you don't have to worry about. And let me also show you the playback specifications in the Netflix application. So here if I go to Netflix app setting and playback specifications, you can see Widevine L1 support is there and you can enjoy content in full HD. You also have the HDR10 support in Netflix application. So this is the main advantage that I can use this custom room on my primary phone. And such thing lacks on other custom rooms. I have tested a lot of custom rooms in past but this is the one which I found out with L1 certification and also it passes the safety net check. And you can also see the video which is currently being played in full HD mode. And another good thing is you do get the pitch dark theme support on this custom row, which officially lags on softwares like Oxygen OS. Even after enabling enhanced mode under dark theme, we still have that grayish background. But that's not the case on Paranoid Android. If you go to display settings, if you just enable dark mode, you'll see that grayish background. But there's another option called as use black theme. So once you enable that, you can see now the entire UI have the pitch dark theme instead of that grayish background, which is a great thing on custom rooms. And this is not only on Paranoid Android, on most of the custom rooms, you do get pitch dark theme support. And there are also three modes available where you can set your custom time, there is also option wherein device will automatically turn dark mode depending on the sunrise and sunset and at last we also have a bedtime option. Basically all the services works fine on this custom room like calling, bluetooth, mobile data, 5G connectivity, Wi-Fi calling and more. Okay so first let's talk about today's video sponsor. So today's video is sponsored by Mstock. Mstock is an Indian trading application that offers an seamless trading experience. All your trading and investment needs in the share market across stocks mutual funds, ETFs, currency and IPOs are met with Mstock at Zero Brokerage for life. You can opt for free lifetime AMC by just paying 999 or you can additionally pay 120 every quarter as AMC. The margin trading facility or MTF starts from 6.99% and one of the lowest daily interest rate starting at just 0.0192%. Compared to markets in Mstock, you get 80% of MTF funding. Mstock is owned by Mira Asset, which is a finance company and it is in the market from past 15 years. If we look into only one year achievement, then 8 lakh plus users are associated with Mstock. 34 crores plus trade, 145 crores plus brokerage save for users and has a 4 star rating, 760 crores plus MTF and did a 3 lakh 26 thousand crores plus turnover. The additional features offered by Mstock are one click order execution, you can search your preferred stock through their voice search feature and one click order placement. So if you are into stocks and trading then Mstock is a single stop solution and their best part is just by paying triple nine you can get lifetime AMC. For more information you can check out the link given in the description below. And icing on the cake is we have pre-installed OnePlus stock camera instead of other third party cameras which we get to see on custom rooms. And here almost everything works great like slow motion, 
and even time lapse video and here are some of the samples which i clicked after installing this custom room with no doubt dynamic range color reproduction everything is great similar to what we get to see on oxygen os running stock camera there's not much of color shifting while switching between three different lenses you get good details and sharper images selfies are also good i did not find any kind of issues related to selfies skin tones dynamic range everything is on point along with the selfie portrait edge detection background separation are perfect but one thing which we have also seen on oxygen os 14 and that's the lag while recording 4k 60 fps video so that's the same story on this custom room also when you start recording the 4k at 60 fps video there is a slight lag initially every time you record the video so this is a minor issue here overall animation and haptics are top notch with no issues i have been using this device as my primary phone and I'm seriously loving the animation and the haptic feedback. For the customization part, we have the similar options what we get to see on stock Android where you can see the lock screen and home screen layout on one page and also there are all the clock styles available which we have seen on stock Android. So most OnePlus users always ask about the lock screen customization. So you want to have similar lock screen customization like Android 14, then you must try out this custom room. You also have the option to customize the clock colors and the size. If you guys know that Paranoid Android is not known for its customization options, but it do comes with features which OnePlus have officially removed. And one of them is DC dimming. And I'm sure I don't have to explain about DC dimming to OnePlus users who have been using OnePlus from a long time. And under display, there are many more options available. One of them is four speak refresh rate, which improves touch responsiveness and animation quality. And it's a recommended feature that you guys should enable soon you install Paranoid Android. There's another feature called high touch pooling rate. So this will decrease the touch screen latency and you'll have a different experience while scrolling around on your device. After installing this custom room, you won't even miss out on some of the Oxygen OS features. One of them is this performance mode. So there is an option to enable performance mode so if you are doing heavy tasking or you know playing games like BGMI, you can trigger this performance mode to get better performance while game. And if you are the one who always wants your device battery health to last long, then there's this new feature called charging mode. So here there are three options. One is automatically schedule, which will automatically determine when your device had to charge depending on the alarm you have set. And after that, there's also in custom mode where you can set the start charging time and you can also set a target till what time your device should be charged. And after that, you can also limit the charging percent. Minimum is 70 and maximum you can go up to 100. So depending on your requirement, you can set a restrictions to the charging percentage. These things would help your device battery to last long, not in terms of SOT, but in terms of aging. By the way, since my usage, I've been getting around four hours of SOT on this device. I won't complain on battery backup because this is a pretty old device and I haven't replaced the battery yet. According to my usage, that's a good SOT on my OnePlus 9. And charging speed is also really great. You can see I started charging the device at 908. That time the battery percentage was 19% and after almost 18 minutes, the battery percentage was around 70%. So there are no issues with the charging speed. Your device will charge quite fast. Similar to the speed, what you get to see on Oxygen OS. And let me also show you the overnight battery drain. So here you can see, I left my device idle at one o'clock in the night. That time the battery percentage was 38%. And when I woke up at 7.53, the battery percentage was 33%. So overall only 5% of overnight battery drain I noticed and that too with the always on display turned on. So there's very less idle battery drain to be seen. You have all the gesture options like quickly open camera, tap to check the phone, lift to check the phone and other gestures like swipe to take screenshot. So you won't even miss out on the gesture features present on Oxygen OS 14. And now at last, let's talk about the performance part. So first of all, let me show you the benchmark testing which we did. Here are the scores with single core in Geekbench application. Device have scored 1543 and with multi-core scores were 3,967. And as always, we performed the CPU throttling test with 100 thread up to 30 minutes. You can see maximum CPU throttled up to 82% and there were no throttling issues to be seen. The graph was quite stable. We also played BGMI and with no doubt, BGMI do supports 90 FPS and I did not even see any kind of frame drops. Only once in the middle of TDM, I noticed slight frame drops, but again, 
this system recovered back and continuously gave me 90 fps here is a small gameplay which you guys can take a look at so guys this was all about the paranoid android for oneplus 9 series you guys let me know in the comment section below whether you want more custom rom videos on oneplus smartphones if you guys say then we'll start testing more custom rooms as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day investments in securities markets are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing Thank you.